Oh, oh, leg cramp, Mike. I got a leg cramp. Oh, old Charlie horse. <laughs> leg cramps are something everyone has experienced, and they often come at night and ruin your night's sleep. So we have five stretches to help prevent and fix your leg cramps, as well as one proven home remedy that should fix them in under a minute. <laughs> and that's a doozy. According to the Mayo Clinic, there are five major different reasons associated with leg cramps. Number one, we get more of them as we age. They are more common with kidney failure. Also diabetic nerve damage. It is also very common with poor blood flow. And with fatigue muscles, they just cramp up as a result of a hard day's work. All right, now the most common leg muscles that cramp are the calf, hamstrings, the quadriceps, toe flexors, as well as the anterior tib. Which, so what is a cramp, Mike? It's when a muscle goes into tetany, which is a maximum uncontrolled contraction, <laughs> and they usually hurt. Yes, this is also commonly known as a Charlie horse. Wow, I don't know how that name got started. Sounds easier to say than tetany. Mm -hmm. So the next step is how do you stop a cramp once it's initiated and it's very painful? Well, it's very simple in a sense, is you need to stretch the muscle. If a calf muscle tightens, you can see the calf muscle tight right here. Pain is going. We want to stretch that by taking the ankle in the opposite direction, dorsiflexion, stretching the muscle. The cramp will reside at the stretch point. Okay, so what we're going to do now is go through each of the five muscle groups and so show you some simple stretching options to stop that cramp. To stretch the calf, you're simply going to bring your toes up like this, getting a nice stretch back here. You can hold this until the cramp starts to subside. Another option is if you have a cane like this and you're in bed or in a chair, sofa, you can put it here and pull up that way to stretch that calf. Now, if you're having a cramp when you're laying in bed or sitting in a chair, oftentimes simply standing up and putting body weight through that leg will help. Now, when I have a cramp like this, oftentimes I just have to get my heel down to the floor and then the tension will release and it'll feel better. Okay, now if you get a hamstring cramp while you're sleeping or lying down on the couch, the first thing you can do is grab around here under the knee and try and straighten your leg up like this to stretch that out. Sometimes that doesn't work. You need to actually sit up in bed, try to get that knee down straight. I know this is uncomfortable and it hurts, but once you get to this position, it will release. If you're having a hamstring cramp in a seated position, simply scoot to the edge of the chair and straighten your leg as much as you can. You might even have to push down with your hands a little bit to get that cramping to stop. If you happen to have a stool nearby or you're in a recliner, try to lift your leg up on there and then you do the same thing. Push the knee straight, try to relax that cramp in the hamstrings there. Okay, now if you get toe cramps, under here is where you feel your pain. Your toes want to curl down, very painful. Reach over the top of the toe if you're lying like this or seated and pull those toes back and use all your fingers to pull all the toes to get a complete stretch. And this usually works pretty well. There's other options we're going to show you. Okay, so once you've released the toe cramp manually, as we showed, this is a good way to finish it off. Get on your heels like this and use body weight. Very easy to do and sit like this for 15 to 30 seconds. If you're getting this cramping sensation in a standing position, simply stand and lift your heel up, pushing your toes into the floor and it should release. You can do this barefoot or with shoes on, it does not matter. Now, if you get a quadricep cramp, the tendency is your leg is going to fully extend. Now, we need to get that knee to bend. You can take your other leg over the top, push, push, push it down. You can push it here, massage that muscle a little bit. And once you get it bent, we want to finish the stretch off by reaching back to the ankle and pulling like this and actually bringing the knee back. I can feel the stretch very aggressively right now. But we need to get it bent started, so you'll have to be in a seated position and start with this. If you're getting a quad cramp while standing and you feel well balanced, you can simply bring your foot behind you like this, like Brad was showing earlier, and just grab on with your hands and hold this position. Now the anterior tib muscle cramping, you're going to feel the pain here, but you're going to correct it by the movement in the ankle. So it's going to pull up like this while it's cramping. You need to go on the top of the foot and push that ankle down. You can stabilize here and this will relieve the cramp. Now once you get to this point, you can use body weight by actually going to this position on the floor or a bed 
and just use body weight to hold it there. It's a really nice way to let it settle down for a minute or so after the cramp. Okay, now more importantly, you wanna prevent these cramps. It's very simple. You simply do the exact same stretches that we showed you on the muscles that are cramping, and you do that two or three times per day. Now, if you have night cramps consistently, you're gonna do the stretch before you go to bed. Stretch gently, 30 to 60 seconds on that muscle group, and go to bed, it should help. Now, I do wanna mention there's one other option, and that is apple cider vinegar. Now, this sounds like a mysterious home remedy that's questionable, but we've actually did a video with research on it and having very positive results. Now, you're gonna to have to see that video, but with one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, while you're having the cramp or before you go to bed, actually shows very positive proof on relieving it, avoiding the stretches. But again, the whole thing is a video that we have. It's about 10 minutes long, and it goes into complete details with research and everything involved.